Hello everyone, this is Technodog, a channel dedicated to the latest in the smartphone industry. While manufacturers are preparing to fill the market with new devices in 2020, we continue to get acquainted with the gadgets from last year. In today's comparison, we will focus on two models of well-known Chinese brands. This is the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8T, which saw the light of day at the end of 2019, and the Huawei Honor 10 Lite being released a year earlier. Both gadgets are within the mid-budget price point. In the description box below this video, I will leave links to online stores where you can purchase these smartphones. Don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our channel. And of course, click on the bell in order not to miss out on new and interesting reviews from the Technodog channel. In general, the devices have a similar design, which can be safely called typical for modern models of smartphones. In shape, both gadgets are classic rectangular frameless models with rounded corners. Almost the entire front side is occupied by a touchscreen display with a mini drop shaped cutout for a selfie camera in the middle of the upper face and with a narrow chin at the bottom. However, the Redmi Note 8T has a significantly wider chin than the Honor 10 Lite. The Redmi logo in the middle also gives visibility. Both smartphones have a volume rocker and a power button on the right side. On the left side of the Redmi Note 8T is a triple slot for two SIM cards and one micro SD memory card. The Honor 10 Lite is empty on the left, and a dual hybrid SIM slot is located on the top end, not far from the microphone. At the bottom of both devices is a speaker, a microphone, a standard 3.5mm headphone mini jack, as well as a USB connector. The Honor 10 Lite uses the micro USB 2.0 port, and the Xiaomi phone uses the USB Type-C port. On the rear panel of both models in the upper left corner are the lenses of the main camera. The Honor 10 Lite has two, the Redmi Note 8T has four. In the Xiaomi gadget, the rear camera is presented in the form of a protruding vertical block, and in the Honor 10 Lite, in the form of two separate lenses located one below the other. Under the lower sensor of the Honor, there is a single flash LED, at the Redmi Note 8T, the LED flash is double and is located to the right of the camera unit, opposite the upper sensor. In the lower left corner of the rear panel, in a straight line with the lenses of the main camera, both smartphones have a vertical brand logo, Honor and Redmi, respectively. In the center of the upper half of the rear panel, not far from the main camera, both gadgets have a circular fingerprint scanner. Both models are made of glass and plastic. But nevertheless, according to the material of execution, the gadget case is not the same. In the Honor 10 Lite, only the front side is made of glass. The rest of the case is plastic. However, it is worth paying tribute to the manufacturer. The plastic is very high quality, and you can only distinguish it from the glass tactilely. It is absolutely impossible to visually recognize it. Redmi Note 8T is a sandwich made of two 2.5D glass panels joined by a plastic side frame. On both sides of the gadget, a protective tempered glass, Corning Gorilla Glass of the fifth generation is installed. The smartphones are noticeably different in size. The Honor 10 Lite is 154.8mm long, 73.64mm wide, and 7.95mm thick. The gadget weighs 162 grams. The Redmi Note 8T is noticeably larger. Its dimensions are 161.15mm in length, 75.4 millimeters in width and 8.6 millimeters in thickness. The weight of the device is 199.8 grams. Due to the difference in the length of the smartphones, the Xiaomi gadget looks more elongated. As for the color range, both devices are available in three versions. The Honor 10 Lite is black, blue, and white blue, while the Redmi Note 8T is white, blue, and gray. Smartphones look very stylish, expensive, and attractive. All colors of both gadgets are made in pearly gradient color. The rear panels play beautifully in the light and shimmer in different shades. Both gadgets are equipped with a touch LCD display with a high quality IPS matrix, a resolution of full HD plus 2340 by 1080 pixels, and an aspect ratio of 19.5 to 9. The displays differ in other parameters. The Honor 10 light screen has a diagonal of 6.21 inches and a pixel density of 415 ppi. The display of the Redmi Note 8T has a diagonal of 6.3 inches and a pixel density of 409 ppi. 
The Honor 10 light screen has large viewing angles, high definition and good brightness. In the sun and just outside, the display does not lose its readability. It's comfortable to use the smartphone as outside as well as indoors. The display of the Redmi Note 8T is not inferior in terms of image quality. The viewing angles are decent, color reproduction is accurate and natural. Brightness and contrast are good too. The interface of both smartphones provides extensive custom display settings. Both smartphones are based on the Android 9.0 Pi operating system, packaged in a proprietary shell. The Honor 10 Lite has EMUI version 9.0. The shell is somewhat lurid, but this relative disadvantage can be forgiven for its impressive performance. At the Redmi Note 8T, the OS is packed in the MIUI version 10 proprietary user interface. The system stands out for its speed and ease of use. For 2020, Xiaomi has already planned to upgrade its firmware to version 11. The Honor 10 Lite received the main dual camera equipped with artificial intelligence. The main sensor has a resolution of 13 megapixels and an aperture of f1.8. It is equipped with autofocus and HDR and also supports night, panoramic, professional and portrait modes. The main camera records video in full HD resolution. As an additional sensor, a 2 megapixel depth sensor acts to create a bokeh effect. The sensor has an f2.4 aperture. The main camera of the gadget produces pictures of good quality with good detail and natural color reproduction. But the depth sensor periodically does not cope with its duties, carrying out blurring of the background with visible incomplete works. The Redmi Note 8T received the main AI quad camera. The main sensor has a resolution of 48 megapixels, aperture f1.75, and a viewing angle of 79.4 degrees. It is complemented by a pair of 2 megapixel sensors with an f2.4 aperture for each, designed for blurring the background and macro photography as well as an 8 megapixel super wide angle with an f2.2 aperture and a viewing angle of 120 degrees. The main camera of the smartphone is equipped with autofocus and HDR, digital image stabilization and built-in filters, smartphones and other various enhancements. There is also support for night, portrait, panoramic and expert modes. The main camera can shoot video in a resolution of up to 4K. There are no complaints about the main quad camera sensor. The pictures are bright and saturated with excellent detail and accurate color reproduction. The ultra-wide angle shoots well, but not without jams. The edges of the frames are often blurry. The depth sensor and macro lens do their job perfectly. There are no complaints about them. The front camera of the Honor 10 Lite has a resolution of 24 megapixels and an f2.0 aperture. The resolution of the selfie camera is very solid for a smartphone in this price segment. But this is not the only advantage of this sensor. It is equipped with artificial intelligence, exposure compensation technology, as well as a set of improvers and beauty machines. The quality of self-shooting is at altitude. Among other things, the front camera supports the face recognition function of the user. Recognition is fast and almost error-free. The front camera of the Redmi Note 8T has a resolution of 13 megapixels at an aperture of f2.0. The selfie sensor shoots well. There is a silhouette highlighting function, many different filters and enhancements, as well as an option to mirror the frame. The Honor 10 Lite is equipped with a proprietary 12 nanometer processor, high silicon Kirin 710 for 8 cores. The chipset is a proprietary development of Huawei. Breaks and lags in the process of using the device are not detected. The interface works smoothly and quickly. Applications open without problems. With the launch of games, everything is also in order. The graphics accelerator Mali G51 MP4 is responsible for the graphics. The Redmi Note 8T is equipped with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 11 nanometer 8 core processor with a third generation neural mode. The chipset perfectly copes with all the tasks. The interface is fast. Games and applications run without lags. As a video accelerator, the smartphone has an Adreno 610 graphics processor. In terms of memory, the Redmi Note 8T is available in three configurations, 3GB of RAM plus 32GB of internal memory and 4GB of RAM plus 64 or 128GB of internal memory. 
The Honor 10 Lite on the Russian market is officially available in two configurations, 3GB of RAM plus 32 or 64GB of internal memory. Other markets also have versions with different configurations. Both models support micro SD memory cards. In the Honor 10 Lite, the drive is installed in the combination tray instead of the second SIM card. The Redmi Note 8T has a special separate tray in the triple slot for installing a memory card. The Xiaomi smartphone supports micro SD cards up to 256GB and the Honor 10 Lite up to 512GB. Both devices are equipped with support for all the necessary modern communication standards, but the Redmi Note 8T communication capabilities are still noticeably more extensive. Among other things, the smartphones have support for Wi-Fi version 802.11. But if the Redmi Note 8T supports dual-band Wi-Fi, A, B, G, N, and A, C, then the Honor 10 Lite supports only single-band Wi-Fi, B, G, and N. Only Chinese versions of this model support A and AC. Both gadgets use Bluetooth version 4.2 and are equipped with a multifunctional NFC module with support for Google Pay. The Honor 10 Lite is equipped with a 3400 mAh non-removable lithium polymer battery with support for fast charging power of 10 watts. The Redmi Note 8T has more impressive data. The smartphone received a built-in lithium polymer battery with a capacity of 4000 mAh with support for fast charging power of 18 watts. On average, one battery charge for these smartphones lasts for one and a half to two days. But in case of the Redmi 8T, it can be actively used. With the Honor 10 Lite, it should be used moderately. I've analyzed the reviews on the internet. And now, I will share with you what they write about these smartphones. Let's start with the negative. The Xiaomi Redmi Note 8T. 1. The main camera unit sticks out strongly. 2. There is no notification indicator. 3. The body is terribly slippery. Be careful and don't drop it. The Honor 10 Lite. 1. The main camera is rather weak. 2. A small amount of memory. 3. Lack of dual band Wi-Fi. The Xiaomi Redmi Note 8T. 1. There is an NFC chip. 2. Good autonomy plus there is a fast charge. 3. Separate memory card tray and a triple slot. 4. High quality quad camera. The Honor 10 Lite. 1. The plastic case looks expensive, practically does not scratch and does not slip at all. 2. Powerful selfie camera. 3. The presence of NFC. 4. Support of memory cards up to 512 gigabytes. Both smartphones represent the mid-budget segment. The Honor 10 Lite benefits include a powerful selfie camera and support for larger memory cards. The advantages of the Redmi Note 8T are a larger display, a powerful main quad camera, more memory, higher performance, a larger battery and faster charging, a separate memory card tray, extensive communication capabilities, and dual-band Wi-Fi support. At the same time, the Xiaomi smartphone is on average more expensive than the Honor 10 Lite by only $30 or $35. Whether the advantages of the Redmi Note 8T are worth such an overpayment is up to you, dear viewers. You can buy your favorite smartphone in online stores using the links in the description under this video. Don't forget to push our like button, subscribe to the Techno Dog, and return to our channel again. There is still a lot of interesting things ahead. See you soon at Techno Dog. Bye everyone.